also think that the dominant economics really embraces this notion that you know, the private sector creates jobs and the public sector just kind of gets in the way. Uh, that couldn't be more wrong in historical terms, whether it's actual investment. Look around at any innovation, any technology that's been meaningful for uh, economic growth in this country or any other advanced economy, you will absolutely find the fingerprints and non-trivially of, of government uh, helping to, to, to get that started. Um, and it's the same thing, and one can make the same argument on the jobs front. I think education is a great example. I mean, today we're shedding hundreds of thousands of jobs, over 300,000 jobs in, in the past year at, at, at state and local uh, uh, workers, and, and, and many of them, I think probably most, are teachers. Mm -hmm. Now ask yourself if this is a nation with certainly all of our rhetoric about education that should be uh, uh, getting rid of, of teachers in public school. So there is the basic needs of the people, the country, the economy, the society, um, in some ways stand in direct contrast to this notion among not just politicians but economists that what the private sector does is good and what the public sector does is bad. So isn't there a point where you can say you're wrong, we're right? And what about the candidacy of Peter Diamond to uh, the Federal Res but Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve? Here's a guy with exactly the expertise a you Nobel would laureate. think we need for this moment who won a <laughs> Nobel Prize and had to withdraw. And you know, another Nobel laureate, Paul Krugman, is I think telling the country the right stuff to do about uh, two times a week. So you know, your first part of your question, isn't there a time when you can say we're right, they're wrong? I, I think that's a very important question and it seems to me that this is the time. <laughs> and I would argue that um, uh, one of the reasons I left uh, the White House is because uh, of uh, uh, this is not a criticism of them. I actually think the vision that the president has is exactly the right one. Uh, this is the, I, I, I think this is that time, and I couldn't really make that argument as effectively from the inside where you're faced with uh, all those constraints that, than I hope I can make from the outside. So I actually appreciate the opportunity like this to talk about it. And the Peter Diamond story? I have a, a blog where I wrote about the Peter Diamond story, and I, I said something to the effect of, um, if, and I don't think it is, but if society is truly on a path towards perdition, <laughs> um, historians could easily look back at the uh, uh, Peter Diamond's uh, withdrawal from the uh, Federal Reserve Board of Governors and, and say there's a real guidepost as to what went wrong. I mean, this is the guy who is so obviously and uniquely um, appropriate for this moment in time for that position to actually help society get out of the mess that we're in. Uh, because he has an expertise in labor markets. He, his expertise is precisely what we need in terms of labor markets and unemployment and steps in monetary policy that need to be taken to give the economy the lift that it's missing right now and for political ideological reasons he was blocked by the Senate um, senators saying uh, this guy does, he's just not right for the job he doesn't have the experience he doesn't know what he's doing this is the kind of upside down, you know, seriously damaging kinds of you know, illogic that I feel is ultimately could dis destroy a nation. I mean, I don't want to overdo it, but it's, it does seem like taking away a brick in the foundation of, 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 of America. So do we have an economic problem, a political problem, or is it some kind of a media problem? I, I, well, democracy um, problem. <laughs> Uh, you know, all of the above, I, I, I guess what I would focus on, particularly in the context of our conversation, is what I'd call a political economy problem, which is the combination of an economic problem and a political problem. And I think a lot of it gets to what we were saying a few minutes ago about the, the, these questions about the role, the size uh, of government, um, and the ways in which um, the private market economy uh, gets a lot right, but gets a lot wrong. And there are big parts of the economy, health care, retirement security, protection of the vulnerable, pushing back against inequalities, the things that I've spent 20 years writing about, thinking about, worrying about, trying to make other people worried about, that government absolutely has a clear role to play and has historically played those roles. And if you take government out of the picture because of your private sector ideology, an ideology that should be, as we said a few minutes ago, completely decimated by the evidence, if you take government out of that picture, it's just going to get worse. Mm -hmm.